In 17th century London, music was everywhere, and one talented young musician by the name of John Shore was made trumpeter sergeant to the King of England. Now, besides being a musician, Shore was also an inventor, and he devised an alternative to the pitch pipe. You see, the pitch pipes of those times were unreliable because they were affected by temperature and humidity. Shore's new method was better, and he called it the tuning fork. Here are some of the forks that I made recently. Now you can find directions for making these in the latest issue of Make Magazine. If you follow the directions in the magazine, you'll make a fork that sounds at about 440 hertz, which is concert A. Concert A is the pitch that all musicians tune their instruments to. You only need a few tools to make your tuning fork. You'll need a 9 inch piece of 1.5 inch uh, strip aluminum. You'll need measuring tools like this uh, tape measure, combination square. You'll need a file. You'll need this, it's a hacksaw, and you'll need an electric drill. Lay out the aluminum strip so the long parts, called the tines, are as close to 6 and 1 8 inches long by 1 half inch across as possible. If you are careful, you'll get that nice concert A tone. Now comes the fun part, or not fun part, depending on your point of view. Take your hacksaw and cut out the wastage from the aluminum strip. I've marked the waste pieces by putting a little X on them so I know which pieces to remove and which pieces not to. Depending on how hard you push, this could take a while. Remove the final bit of the center cutout with your electric drill. Well, here's the final tuning fork. It looks pretty good, and it sounds good too. For Remaking History and Make Magazine, I'm Bill Gerstel.